This is an example problem on given a final value, calculating the present value or vice versa, because the method can be applied uh, depending on um, if you're given P or if you're given F. Uh, so how much should be put in an investment with a 10% effective annual rate to have $10,000 in five years? So first of all, what you got to do is identifying what the question is asking. So $10,000, that's the future value. So that's your F, that's your final value. So the question is asking for the present value. So F is the known value. So F is $1,000. I, that's your interest rate, it's a 10%. This is fairly simple, but at least, you know, it kind of give you the basics, which is important. So the question is asking for P. Now, the method that I use is not actually calculating it, you know, using the table of uh, formulas. I use the, uh, the, um, the table in the back of the, uh, the book this one right here but before we get there you got to set it up first so the way I do it is that okay uh, I'm asked for P what should be here so what do I know right so I know F that's what I put here correct so um, and I need F has to be canceled out so F should be here and since I need P, so P got to be here. And then I use I and in five years, so N is five. I forgot to put that here on, on, the, on the nodes. So N is five years. N is five. All right, so F and F, they cancel out and you're left with P. So that's how you know that you got the correct formula because a lot of students would actually put I mean, they get confused sometimes with um, what's the correct, I guess, formula should I use here for the table. So always start with um, P given F. So this is how you read it, P given F. That's what you know, you know F. And then the way you also know that um, you got it right is these two have to cancel out. The knowns have to cancel out. All right, so we know F, which is 10,000. All right, so let's go to the table and then just fill it up with the correct value. All right, so over here, I'm at I, 10%, okay? I need P given F for N equals five years. So the correct value is 0.6209 right so it's not f slash p it's not f given p because you don't know p because p is what they ask you to find so this is p given f so five years 0 0.6209 all right so it's ten thousand six two Zero nine, and the final answer is sixty two zero nine dollars. So you need now today, I need sixty two hundred and nine dollars in order to have ten thousand dollars five years from now with an interest rate of ten percent. Fairly easy, straightforward, but you know, you. It's unbelievable how many students will actually get this type of problem wrong. And this is actually, a, you know, you can steal one point or two in the exam with these fairly simple ones. So you got to be careful and steal it. Steal it when you're given a chance. All right.